Now we want to show you how we do an office-based procedure and in this case, in this simulation case, we will show you um, laser surgery in the larynx with a fiber-guided laser. For this, we have a personal equipment, a whole body equipment that also has a hood. I will take it on later, but now for explanation I will also put off the FFP mask so that I can explain everything. I have this kind of equipment covering my body, two pairs of gloves as we showed before. I will have the FFP mask, I will have the hood on and also protective glasses for me. Also for the patient, the patient needs protective glasses for the eyes because it's a laser procedure and then the patient also has a pulse oximeter on the finger and then I will see the whole procedure on the screen. When I have my hood on then I want to really make sure that I have le as, as least reflections in the room as I can have which means the light sources etc you have to try it out so that you can see the screen and not your reflections. Inside of the hood sometimes there's reflection so that I can see my own mask. Also we have to be aware of that inside of that hood while the paper respirator machine pumps air into the hood I always have this noise which goes on and on and I cannot understand the patient as well as my assistant. So we all have to talk loud when communicating. As you can hear in the background, you can hear the siren of an emergency ambulance. So we try to keep the windows open so that we have aeration, but we have to put down all the Venetian blinds because it's a laser procedure. So now we will take on all our protective equipment and then you will see me and the assistant next to me. Again, I try to be and focus all my contaminated parts like my gloves to the patient and try to keep the assistant non-contaminated because the assistant has to run the video, the assistant has to run the laser and sometimes I need other kinds of equipment and so we have to really try and train how this works together. Then because I have the paper machine as a belt around my belly I don't want the belt to be contaminated that's why I will put on a plastic apron to make sure that the front part is all covered but if I have a plastic belt on the side here, then I want to rip it off so that it does not get sucked into my respirator machine. Okay, now we're really fully dressed for this procedure, as you can see. And the air flows inside of the hood and comes out here. But because we also could be asymptomatic and contagious, we also have the FFP masks on while we are doing the procedure. And now the procedure itself is the same as we explained before. However, we're now covered more because of it could be papilloma and as well as the corona infection. Let's show how it works. For the procedure itself, we will not repeat all the steps, but let's say that the patient has an anesthesia in the nose, so you take down, yes, and cover the mask, and once I'm inside of the nose, then I will follow the whole procedure on the screen, and I do have my release button for the laser down here, you can't see it right now. And for the moment when I need the laser 
fiber, the glass fiber. I will ask the assistant to give it to me and then I will insert this glass fiber into this inlet and then do the surgery. The only difference between the examination that we showed before and this kind of procedure is that I have to take care of laser safety precautions. Of course, I'm more protected with my hood, but the training and our dual work that we have together is actually the same. So after we're ready and the procedure is ended, of course, I have to clean the endoscope with my disinfectant that does not contain any alcohol. I'll cl clean it with one wipe and a second wipe, as you can see here. And then you can also use some suction in here to suck out if there's any secretions or blood inside and then pass it over to the cleaning bag which goes to the container then for further cleaning. As you can see also, the glass fiber is inside of the flexible endoscope because this is also contaminated and goes to the cleaning process. After that, I will ask an assistant to open all the windows. I will tell the patient that the patient should stay seated. I will take off all the personal protective equipment and then come back only covered with my FFP mask and then tell the patient what I've done. So how to take off this paper and this PPE? First we want to take off our gloves like this. Throw them away. After that I disinfect my hands. And after that, I try to get inside of my hood and take it off like this. And usually I have an assistant or somebody who can grab it in here. And then an assistant can also close the machine. I will do that now and I'll just press this button for three seconds. And now it's closed. Then I will hand this over to somebody and also open my belt so that the paper machine is off. I will hand it to an assistant. So now inside everything is safe which means I can take off my protective glasses. If I want and I feel safer I can also disinfect my hands again and then take off the hood, take off the whole the apron which I will grab in here and just pull and throw it into the bin and after that I will because this was covered I'm safe to open this like this and then get rid of it like this. If I want to grab here at the sleeve, I can do that. This part was covered by the glove and get rid of my suit. But if I'm still thinking that I might have touched something, of course you can disinfect your hands again and again. And then you go back to your patient.